Welcome back to another video on creating a database backed website web application using MySQL and using PHP. In the last few videos we've created a jokes application where you can search for jokes and then find out which ones are in your database. In this video we're going to add the feature of adding our own jokes. We're going to create a form and let the user enter data and that will be included into the database. I'm going to add another form using the example of the first form we've created in this application. So I'm just going to simply copy this and paste it so I have a second form. Let's add a new term here instead of a, an action called search keyword let's call it add joke. So we're going to have to create some new PHP files here to make this work. Let's create two input fields in our jokes. Let's make one that has the question and the other for the answer. And so we'll please enter a new joke here. So let's add two fields, one for a new joke and one for the new answer. Let's see what this looks like when we save it. So you can see we have a field here and a field here and another submit button. Maybe a little separation between these would make sense. So let's put in a HR which is a horizontal rule. It's a line across the page so you get a separation here. So I'm going to create this add joke file but I'm going to use a previous file as our starting point. Let's use search keywords as our starting point. So let's do a save as. We'll make a copy of this and we'll call it add joke. Now the purpose of this file is not to get jokes from the database but to add jokes. So we'll do the same idea. We're going to connect. We're going to get some keywords here. So this will be the new joke question and we're also going to pull out the new joke answer. Where are we going to get this new joke question from? It's going to come from the URL. Let's see what it was in the form when we entered it. This thing was the name of our entry point called new joke. So this is what was going to show up in our URL. So let's put in here, get this thing from new joke. Let's also get the second from the URL. Let's say we're going to paste that in there and our new joke answer. Let's see what form says on this. It was called new answer. So we'll use that here. New answer. In our next status update we're going to say trying to add a new joke and let's repeat the two things that were given to us through the input form. So this is new joke question and new joke answer. So let's see what that looks like. The rest of this we can probably ignore for now. Let's do a comment on each of these lines so that we don't do anything. So I commented out all of the rest of the code on this form for now. I just want to test to see if we're getting these variables passed to this form correctly. So we'll test it out on this new form here. I'm going to put in a new joke. So I ask this question. Can a kangaroo jump higher than the Empire State Building? And the answer is, of course. The Empire State Building can't jump. When I submit the button, you can see that we have the echo on the screen. And so it tells me that the computer is reading the information correctly out of the get statement. If you look up here in the URL line, we have the word new joke equals, and then we have a string, and then we have the new answer as well. That equals a different string. And so the get statement is pulling these lines into the program again. Now the next step is to take those variables and put them into the database. This will be somewhat similar to how we got information out of the database. We use the word select. This time we're going to use the word insert. And so let's get an example from the internet on how to use the word insert in SQL. So let's go to Google and search insert SQL. And here is a good page we can look at. 
This is also from W3 Schools. Let's see what they have to say. It says here that there are two ways to use the insert command when you want to put data into a table. You can say insert into table name and then you put the word values and in parentheses all the different values you want. You can also specify an insert using the table name and the column names that you want to make sure that are filled. So we'll do the second one because it's more explicit. Let's look down the page and see if we can find some example code. Sure enough, here's some. The uh, command is insert into customers, and so this is the name of the table. In parentheses, these are all the field names in the table, and then finally the values. And you notice that the values are all contained in quotation marks if they're strings, and this should look pretty similar to what we want to do. So I'm going to just change this to say the word insert into, and then our table is jokes table. You notice in the example that these column names are all inside parentheses. So I'm going to do the same thing in my example here. So just before jokes ID, I'm going to put a parentheses. And I have three columns in my table, so I'm going to include those inside parentheses. The rest of the line will be different, so let's go ahead and delete up until the final quotation mark. What was the rest of it going to be? We're going to say into values and then you have to list the different values that you want to add to your table. So in my case I'm going to say values in capitals again. And I'm going to put in three values here. So we have the joke number, the joke question, and the joke answer. I'm going to use the word null for my joke number. That's because I want the auto number to take care of that, so I don't care what number it gets. For the rest of these, I'm going to use this new joke question and the new joke answer. So I'll copy these two values and place them here. In the example code that we were looking at, all of the values have to be included in a quotation mark. So the word cardinal in this case has a, has a simple quotation, a single quote, and the rest of them all seem to do the same. So let's add that to our code as well. So instead of new joke question, we'll put in a single quotation mark. Now we're going to take away the comments from the result line, so this will actually run the query. We don't have to read anything back from the table, so I'm going to delete this, and let's push the Save button. Now let's switch back to our local host here. Since we have this on the screen as a URL already in the browser, we can just push the Refresh button. And when we push the Refresh button, it will rerun the program. After we rerun the program, we'll come back to our database. Browse to the database, refresh the table, and you can see that joke number 10 is now, can a kangaroo jump higher than the Empire State Building? And the answer is over here. So this insert command worked properly. After the insert command is done, we should re put some feedback on the screen so that the user knows what's in the database. Let's go and include this command here called search all jokes. So we'll type in include and then search all jokes. Lastly, it would be nice to have a link to go back to the main page. Once more, I forgot to take this outside of the PHP code. So I'm going to cut this and move it down below the question mark. So it'll, it'll execute like a normal HTML code. So, let's go back, and this time we're going to enter a new joke. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? The answer to this one is, it's okay, he woke up. Let's submit this joke. And so now you can see we've added the uh, joke list when we're done. And so you can see that joke number 11 is now in the list. We can return to the main page with this new link.